Is there anything you can point to in those losses? I mean, as you go back and review them, that hey, I, you know what? Here was the issue. This is I, what I know I did wrong. Maybe you know it's it's hard to talk about it. Believe me, it's hard. So there are some reasons, but I believe there are. But it's hard to talk. More more mental than than physical. I will keep it for myself say, forever. When you say more mental, um, so it's it's not a skills thing. You just think it's a matter of. No, I, I didn't I didn't forget how to punch or how to kick. You know, you know I can kick harder. Maybe punch harder than I could ever. Imagine. What goals do you still have left? What? What goals do you still have left? What goals? Yeah. What goals are, do you still have left to fight for? To beat Roy Nelson. You're really. I mean, they're not thinking ahead of this fight at all. Nothing in this week. Uh, now, what did you think of Roy's uh, last two fights? Well, he lost two. He lost both of his two fights, and uh, nothing. I was studying those fights, and I was trying to make my own game plan against him. It seemed like conditioning was definitely an issue for him in his last fight. Is that something you take into account and try to make him? Yeah, of course, I think he, he's definitely too heavy for his height and condition. Is his biggest problem. How concerned are you with his grappling ability? Uh, not much, not much. He's a like jiu-jitsu black belt, but times when people, when fighters were divided in stand-up fighters and grapplers, it's history. People forget that I've been training jiu-jitsu for 10 years and I was, had the privilege of training with top jiu-jitsu fighters like Verdum, like Orleta, like Dean Lister. With some of them with Lister, with uh, Verdum I trained for three years. So I'm not concerned. If I was able to submit Verdum you know, in a fight, in a grappling fight, then I don't have to be concerned with him. It happened, it happened once, but uh, because Fabrizio left next day, <laughs> but I managed to do it. You know, so. I trained a lot, you know, ground. And I can't call self myself anymore. Stand up fighter, I'm a MMA fighter. I've been doing wrestling for 10 years, Jiu Jitsu for 10 years. I like to, I would like always to avoid, you know, it, if it is possible, because uh, I'm always deep in my mind staying a stand-up fighter and people expect me to, I'm paid to kick and punch people, you know, not, not, not to submit them. Of course I will submit if I have a chance, but I always prefer to finish the fight in stand-up position. But if I have to go on the ground, whoever should beat me, since Nagera, no one. But I thought Nagera was the beginning of my career and I hadn't, knew nothing about ground work. Is Roy comparable to anybody that you fought before? Obviously, he's got a kind of a unique body type and unique game. Is he comparable to anybody you fought before? Not exactly. No, he's a dangerous guy. But you know, people in my country will say, if if I beat him, he said you beat the fat guy. You know, if if you lost with him, they will start laughing to me. You lost you lost against him. But he's a dangerous, super dangerous guy. He's a super dangerous guy who can knock out anyone today. Who can out knock out anyone today? But, you know, but some people, you know, might be. Uh, tricked with his body, you know, but he's a dangerous guy. Do you think, you've been complimentary of his striking, do you think he'd be willing to, to stand and trade with you, or do you expect him to try to bring it to the ground? I expect nothing. I, I train, I prepare myself, maybe he'll try to push me to the fence, he can try to shoot the legs, he can try to ex extend the punches. Most likely he will try to stand to keep the fight in the stand-up, that's my opinion, or to push me on the fence. Now, well, what gives if you, he can, of course. Yeah. What gives you the, uh, why do you think he would want to keep it standing up? Because it will be, be hard to take him down. You talked about the mental aspect has been difficult for you. Was there any doubt? Was there any consideration of maybe maybe I am done fighting, or did you always know? No, I'm gonna I'm gonna come back. No, when I decide that I'm, I will stop fighting, I will say it loud and clear. I will stop fighting because of many reasons. 37, two kids, 70 fights behind myself. You know, have a long and successful career, and uh, I can be proud of myself. I start, you know. In a, in a small village in Croatia, in my own garage, as a self-made fighter, and uh, all I can be is to be proud of myself. That's all. You know. It has nothing to do. I'm going to win or lose. I will do my best to win. And I hope I will. Because I really train hard for six months. After my last fight, I came back home. I, I took a long break, about 12 hours. 12 hours break, and then I start training. <laughs> 12 hours a long break, huh? Yeah, 12 hours. Next morning, I started training, and so I keep training till now. <clears throat> because I'm professional and uh, I can't let my body to, 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 to get some extra weight, to be fat, to be I'm professional. Uh, people don't, I don't think that my fans would appreciate it. So I train hard and I really want to beat him. You know? Even I like, I like Roy, you know? 
he's a nice guy and we just shake hands and fuck. But he has nothing to do, this is just a business and I want to be just like expecting that he wants to beat me.